friends, it's Sonia Miller of Junk Monkey Paint Company and welcome back to my daily vlog. Hello to all my creative friends out there. So today is off to a great start. Got lots of projects in the works. In fact, remember the painted teal shabby flowers that we worked on yesterday. I listened to what you said in the comments and the biggest vote was for me to go ahead and flip it to black velvet. So guess what? Dun dun dun, working here in the back of the building. Listen to the birds chirping, like seriously, this is my favorite studio, the outside studio. So I went ahead and I had Kate's help. We laid down newspaper and put down painter's tape around the edges and then I went ahead and swiped on my black velvet, all right? so. This is what I'm using right here, black velvet, nice classic black right there. Once this dries, I'll go ahead and take the paper off and at the end of the video, I will give you the big reveal of how it looks. So this is gonna be our next project right here behind me. Who remembers here on the vlog? I took you to that rummage sale with me and I bought this gorgeous, this gorgeous table, shabby brownie frowny table for all of $10. So awesome. Awesome. I'm gonna tell you when you can find furniture to flip that has that Queen Anne curvaceous French provincial sort of inspiration into it. Not the authentic furniture, but the replicas, and you know, they take inspiration from that beautiful ornate furniture. That always seems to sell first. So quick tip out there for all you guys and gals who are painting for profit. So for me, I bought this table. It's actually gonna stay here in my space, and it's gonna be Caitlin, my right-hand monkey, it's gonna be her tabletop to be able to work on. So, the colors I'm gonna do it in today is actually black velvet. I gotta go get my black velvet from the back of the shop from that other project I just showed you guys. And her other favorite color that she picked called Stormy Forest, which is this just beautiful bluish color. Love it, love it, love it. We love it. Stormy Forest is like one of the most popular colors that we have. So we're gonna go ahead and do the black top, Stormy Forest for the base. There she is, right here. Not looking so great, but that's okay. That's okay. She came to the furniture doctor. She's in the right place and she's gonna look beautiful once she's done. But take a look at her now because you won't see her looking like this anymore. Behold the power of paint about to make its grand entrance. So when I paint, when I flip, when I give makeovers to, when I transform tables, because doing a table shouldn't be scary. You can do it a certain way, know how to do it, and have great durability. So with that said, the way I approach a tabletop is this way. So we've cleaned it, use your crud cutter, you can get it on our website, and of course all the materials that I use, all the paint supplies, everything I use, you can get at junkmonkeypaint.com. So we have cleaned the piece, and here is where the transformation begins. And it's always great to start your journey with a heavy grit sand pad. We know that tabletops get a lot of use. And so at the point that somebody created this table in the factory, they also took time to put a great, beautiful, durable finish on it, right? Just to show you that even with a factory finish, you still have dents and you still have dings because that's just life, right? A tabletop shows where life has happened and hopefully lots of good memories. But knowing that a shiny finish or a glossy finish may be on your tabletop, I encourage you guys to grab a heavy grit, heavy grit sand pad and start to basically break down that finish and make it more accepting of the junk monkey paint that you're about to put on it. So I liken it too for us ladies who go get our nails done. We get our nails buffed before they put the polish on because it helps the polish adhere even better, right? Think about if you had, I don't know, a dry Driveway and somebody did donuts on your stone driveway, it would kick up a lot of tracks and now it will be definitely texturized. You know what I'm saying? So I want to go ahead, grab a heavy, heavy grit sand pad, or honestly, if you guys have one of those hand sanders, just like go to Walmart, or Harbor Freight, something like that, grab a cheap electric sander, hand sander. Doesn't have to be fancy, just go with the basic one because it's good for projects like this that are gonna get a lot of use and you really just wanna basically dull down the surface by using some grit onto it. Or just do it the manual old fashioned way with a little bit of elbow grease and one of our heavy grit sand pads. When you do this part, I want you guys to go in circles, okay? And what's gonna happen is you're gonna see, you can actually see, because I can see in the camera lens right now, do you see how it kicked up this cloudy right here? That is your finish being broken down. So it's opening up all the pores and now it's gonna make it much more accepting and ready. Basically, there's a whole lot of little scratches that just happened right there. So we're gonna do this to the entire tabletop. 
and you can do a quick brush over for the legs as well but we know that the tabletop is the most important part of doing this part because that's the part that we make use of the most video guys it looks a whole lot different right so you just saw me I went live on Facebook I just shared the steps with you we went ahead we did our black velvet two coats on the top we put one coat to do it more shabby style for the legs and distressed we use our banana peel to seal it in do two coats of your banana peel poly and now honestly I'm just gonna finish this up because the tabletop has dried and you want never want to force your paint um, to dry you know if you can just leave it and be patient you're going to get a much more professional finish. So I just quite literally started the process of doing a little bit of distressing right here. Love, love, love this look. Okay, so I'm going to go all over this table. I'm going to sand with the way you saw me do those brush strokes back and forth. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to seal the tabletop as well. We're going to need at least two coats of our banana peel poly on the top to make sure it is nice and durable. But wow! Oh, isn't she amazing? So far, we ain't even done. Right, guys, so I went ahead and distressed my edges the way I like them, just to give it a natural, time-worn look. All right, and I went ahead and sanded down the tabletop, which means that it is nice and buttery smooth. At this point now, I just get to basically clean the dust off and go ahead and seal. Fun fact, our chalky style paint, if you don't seal it, what I have right now is an actual chalkboard. A lot of you guys love to take our paint and make accent chalkboard walls or chalk top tables and do all sorts of things on it because that's a lot of fun too. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna seal it and then when we do seal it, all those wood pores are gonna be plugged off and we are going to have a fully finished, professional looking piece of furniture. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my banana peel and you're gonna watch me. I'm gonna do two coats of this banana peel all over the top. All right, our 
first coat is on. When you put it on, you're gonna see it has this milky white color. That is a guide for you to be able to see what you have poly, what you have not poly. At the end of the day, it's gonna dry nice and clear. So I'm gonna step away, let this tabletop do its thing, and then come back and you're gonna see that it's no longer looking white like this anymore. It's just gonna allow that beautiful black velvet to come through. The other thing that we can do if we really want in between coats is use our fine sponge polishing pad. It doesn't rip our paint, but it basically gets rid of any impurities. And if there's anything stuck into your poly that you just need to make sure it's nice and polished. So let's do that and then go ahead with our next layer. And it is round two, second layer of our banana peel poly acrylic on top of this bad boy. All right guys, can you see the last few streaks that are drying before this table is fully set up with our poly? Can you see it? We're almost there. Boy, doesn't she look different. Boy, doesn't she look amazing. We love her. This is gonna be a perfect desk for Junk Monkey Kate here at Junk Monkey Headquarters. And it's good that we're gonna set that up tomorrow and just let this continue to dry and cure overnight. Um, I do recommend that when you do a tabletop, if you can wait at least 24 hours before you begin to use it, because what is happening is all those paint product sealers are sucking in and curing. Believe it or not, it actually takes 30 days for a piece of furniture to fully cure behind the scenes, but it's very important, and especially the first you know day or two, that you treat it really nicely. And then to keep your piece looking as nice and fine as possible, use your coasters, use your placemats, and treat it like a brand new piece of furniture. So if you wouldn't do that to a brand new piece of furniture, don't do it to your brand new, newly painted piece of furniture either. Sound good? Oh, I almost forgot. I was gonna show you that gold frame on the shabby teal flowers that we did last night. Do you wanna see what it came out like? Ta -da! Here we are. Boy, isn't she gorgeous? What do you think, guys? I listened to you last night and you told me that I should paint my frame with black velvet and change it from that gold metallic that was on it. I love it so much. Could you even see this piece that we painted together with the same products that we put on the table? That's what's so amazing about Junk Monkey. Doesn't that table look fabulous as it's continuing just to set up and cure? Paint your chairs to go with it. You've got some art, you've got your table that matches. Oh, the possibilities are endless. So yeah, she is looking gorgeous. And for this $10 table, you tell me below if you think that it was a steal. And at the end of the day, this came out gorgeous. Let me know below. All right, guys, I am out of here. You see that door? I'm gonna leave, go home in a little bit, let this table continue to cure, and then we'll pick up tomorrow and we'll decorate her and we'll put, it, put her together like a workstation. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel, giving me a big thumbs up, and leaving me a comment below. And I will be back on again tomorrow serving up some inspiration, hanging out with you guys, and who knows the fun that we'll get into. I don't even know. We'll just see what tomorrow brings. Bye.